yeah i think this would be my first video from the series about products i'm not so happy about and this one is about atem mini pro i've seen the demo uh, video the premiere from black magic design and i was wow this product is so amazing because we started using video conferencing at work and I was thinking about buying Camlink 4K or Atem Mini but then when they said like look we got Atem Mini Pro with uh, multi-view and building streaming and all that good stuff I was like huh, only additional $200 that's great and it's like five times more expensive than Camlink okay but I'm ready to go I can do a lot of stuff for cameras or few cameras and other HDMI input like computer <coughs> all other good stuff so I was okay I'm pre-ordering this one it's a no-brainer and then <coughs> I was surprised how fast they deliver this one so I got it Friday I was trigger happy then I'm gonna learn some King during the weekend and then amaze people at work uh, on a video conference call with all those fancy tricks mm -hmm. but I got no luck because it seems that ATEM Mini Pro is not compatible with a lot of uh, monitors I got here NEC E231W which is really old monitor so I'm not mad that this one is not working, but the other one is BenQ SW270C, quite new and expensive, and this is a 2K monitor, so should work. Why not? But it doesn't. I don't know if it it is visible, but there are strange artifacts on this multi-view. And at the moment, uh, there are no cameras connected on or no HDMI inputs connected because when I connect any HDMI input, I lose uh, HDMI output for some reason, for some unknown reason. So I thought my ATEM Mini Pro is broken. So I'll fill the RMA, send, uh, send it back uh, to Blackmagic. They checked it and they said, no, oh, everything works fine, but we cannot connect with this uh, unit uh, either via USB or network uh, and they thought it's broken. So they replaced uh, the unit, sent me a new one. Again, I was trigger happy. It was quite fast uh, when they delivered it. And then I tested it in the evening and it's the same story. There is a, There are strange artifacts on the multi-view and whenever I change the standard here for example at the moment 23.98p works fine when i change to 24p but this one works fine normally this monitor works with 60 hertz and it works here also but there are those strange artifacts in all all the modes possible some modes it doesn't work some modes when it works there are strange artifacts fine i can live with these artifacts but when i connect the <coughs> hdmi input that's the different story so I'm, I'm going to connect the camera i'm recording on it is connected and the multi view is gone because there is some incompatibility with uh, who knows what so at the moment the camera is sending HDMI output with 24p so let's try it I'm trying 24p nothing just black screen nothing shows But when I change the output to 
camera one direct and wait a bit now I see the inception because magically it works but the direct output omits the processing unit in the ATEM Mini Pro so it's just direct input from the camera and this camera works with this uh, monitor it works fine and, and also it works fine with this old neck so whenever I connect the camera directly to either one of these monitors it is fine but when I connect it through the ATEM Mini without this direct view I can switch to camera one processed by the ATEM and it's just black and information that there is no cable connected I guess there is something strange with this input this monitor accepts HDMI 2.0 shouldn't be a problem the old one probably 1.3 something like that 1.4 who knows but it doesn't work at the moment strange so I checked the YouTube uh, everybody's trigger happy everything works fine uh, but lately I've joined uh, <coughs> live stream from photo Joseph and there were a few people complaining that their monitors doesn't work also and they said they got the message on the monitor that signal is out of sync but it might be just a message like this uh, monitor says no signal I guess there is some signal but it's somehow wrong so I checked a few videos about uh, trigger happy users uh, of item mini pro and I've seen that a lot of them are using small HDMI monitors like the one you use on top of the camera so I got an idea maybe if I buy one then I can use it as a multi view it won't be that good as a big monitor for the multi view but there's something and also I don't have room for the third big monitor and <laughs> I don't want to spend another briefcase of money already item mini was quite expensive I think in my country it is like six hundred and fifty dollars you know third world country what you can expect so I was checking those cheap five inch monitors because I can use it on top of my camera I checked a few there were mixed opinions I wouldn't like to be surprised with another crappy product then I said okay maybe I should buy HDMI recorder which is also a monitor then I would have product with which I use for another purpose if it does, even if it doesn't work with this ATEM Mini Pro so I thought hmm okay let's buy HDMI recorder it's just the same price as, as ATEM Mini so who cares so I got this one a Ninja Atomos and I was like okay let's check if it helps so I have to reconnect this <coughs> instead of this black cube yeah, it's here let me turn on the ninja and the ninja magically works I got multi view input from the camera number one program which is the same whatever there are no strange artifacts seems fine so what about connecting the monitor to the ninja maybe it would work let's see And magically it works. There are no strange artifacts. 
I can switch camera. It's magic. I guess this is ninja autonomous magic. So there's solution. Quite expensive one. It's like double the price of the ATEM Mini Pro, but at least it works. I'm not sure it works with uh, neck, but it works with the BenQ through the Atomos Ninja, which is nice. And also, I got this Ninja as a recorder. I bought a <coughs> additional drive a few hours ago, so I can record stuff, which is additional feature. And the monitor itself is really nice, but I think that. ATEM Mini Pro should work with the modern monitor just from the box. I shouldn't be buying external device to make it work. I was lucky that uh, one online shop got this one and I got it next day. <laughs> Actually, it was today. And it works. Also, I think maybe I would use the ATEM Mini Pro in a field, streaming something for customers, let's call them like that. So the Ninja would be useful in that case, but I wasn't planning to buy it tomorrow. I was planning to buy it next year, maybe. It's quite expensive gear. And I guess I would use like 10% of the possibilities it gives me. So. Not sure it's a good investment at the moment, but at least my ATEM Mini Pro is usable at the moment. I got multi-view on a big screen, on a small screen, and I'm happy. Anyway, if someone thinks about buying ATEM Mini Pro, I would say to check if monitor you got works with this thing, because you might be surprised that it doesn't or if you want to invest in the Atomos or you got Atomos then you are safe because through the Atomos I guess that someone just would work and also when I got uh, my ATEM Mini Pro from the RMA I checked it with those two monitors and it hasn't worked I got an idea so I went to the living room I checked it with the 8 years old TV and it worked flawlessly, so I knew that there is some incompatibility between this unit and those two monitors and probably many others because there are complaining users uh, on YouTube. So I asked Blackmagic Design if they got some list of the officially supported monitors. I guess they will give me the all the names uh, of their products, which are really expensive. Sad but true. I reported this and I told them what what's the problem maybe next firmware update I would be happy and I won't be using Atomos anymore but I guess I would because it's it is small and I like it and also I was thinking maybe this uh, Sony camera got some wrong settings so I also checked with this amazing guy This one is amazing, it's a 10 years old Pentax and it is the same story, whenever you turn on HDMI input, ATEM Mini Pro loses output over the HDMI, so some kind of incompatibility between ATEM and monitors. I guess I was unlucky that two of my two monitors doesn't work, so... And I get third one, Ninja which works and is fine. Cheers mate.